we're rounding out our in-depth coverage of PFAS and unknown effects on our lives. According to experts, it's harder to live a life without them than with. We're looking at ways you can filter out forever chemicals in our day-to-day -day lives. Created in the 1930s as a tool in World War II, perfluorinated compounds, or PFAS, were quickly identified as a group of chemical compounds of convenience. By 1945, PFAS were trademarked by DuPont as Teflon and incorporated into mass production. It can be found in almost any heat, oil, stain, grease, or waterproof product. Its mass production has led to it infiltrating even our atmosphere. Most of how PFAS comes to be known about is already existing from a, something that's been discharged into the ground or into the surface waters. UMass researcher Christian Guzman found his focus. It's really interesting that it's being transported from the sky down to the soil. So um, we're trying to see and quantify how, how, how high levels are being transported and if it's of a concern. Um, to people here. Experts at UMass say a simple filter, like a Brita on your counter, can help filter rainwater that becomes drinking water. Dr. Catherine Reeves, professor of epidemiology at UMass Amherst, is studying how the compounds affect public health and how to avoid it. I think limiting your exposure to these types of chemicals, things like PFAS, um, phthalates, BPA, parabens, limiting it is reasonable. So choosing a bottle of shampoo that's labeled paraben free, phthalate free, but not getting yourself so worked up about it um, because I think it can be really stressful. Simply swapping plastic for paper are easy habits that you can build throughout your day to limit your exposure to harmful plastics. And it's intentional shopping that can help change that. You can simply go to PFASCentral.org where they have a full list of items you can purchase that are PFAS free and making for a healthier lifestyle. Dr. Dave Reckow, who's made a career studying the compound, says consumers aren't doomed. Almost always are good alternative products. Maybe not in widespread production, but they could be ramped up to replace those commercial and um, domestic products that use PFAS. One area where I think there is a little bit more of a challenge is in the medical science area. According to Reeves, small substitutions are enough. Uprooting your life and its habits aren't necessary to protect yourself. Shopping brands like Ralph Lauren, Levi's, or H&M ensure your clothing is PFAS free. Other items also free of PFAS include IKEA home products, Chick-fil-A packaging, and certain Johnson & Johnson dental products. When shopping, take a quick look at the ingredient list. If you see chemicals you don't recognize with the root syllable floor, chances are you're looking at a product with PFAS in it. If it says um, paraben-free, phthalate-free, I'm more likely to choose that one. But I'm not getting so worked up about, um, you know, that I never have, a, you know, um, a can of soup or water from a plastic bottle, those sorts of things. Dr. Reeves also recommends active lifestyle habits to counter any harmful illnesses that coincide with PFAS exposure. We are